Hi guys, now we talk about various types of thyroplasty. Thyroplasty is a surgical treatment option for vocal cord paralysis. Now there are four types of thyroplasty, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. These types are important for the exam, but these are volatile. Just remember this four letter ML, SL. Type 1 thyroplasty, it is the medialization of the vocal cord. So done for adductor palsy. If the adductor of the vocal cords are paralyzed, then vocal cord is in the abductor position. So we have to medialize it. It is the type 1 thyroplasty. Type 2 thyroplasty, it is the lateralization of the vocal cord. So done for abductor palsy. If abductors are paralyzed, then vocal cord is in the adducted position. So we have to lateralize the vocal cord. This is the type 2 thyroplasty. Type 3 thyroplasty, this is the shortening or loosening of the vocal cord. Vocal cord is the elastic material. If we lose the vocal cord, then it will be short. It is done for puberphonia. Type 4 thyroplasty, it is the lengthening or tightening of the vocal cord. If we tight the vocal cord, then it, it will be lengthened. It is done for androphonia. M means medialization, L means lateralization, S means shortening, L means lengthening. M, L, S, L. Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Type 1, medialization of the vocal cord. Type 2, lateralization of the vocal cord. Type 3, shortening of the vocal cord. Type 4, lengthening of the vocal cord. So we can quickly revise it. Type 1 thyroplasty, it is the medialization of the vocal cord. Done for adductor palsy. Type 2 thyroplasty, lateralization of the vocal cord. Done for abductor palsy. Type 3 thyroplasty, shortening or loosening of the vocal cord. Done for puberphonia. Type 4 thyroplasty, lengthening or tightening of the vocal cord. Done for androphonia. Remember the mnemonic ML SL. So this is all about the types of thyroplasty. Take care. See you in next video. Tata.